Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. When companies are ready to scale to the next level, they often look to either talent or technology as a means for growth. One company has found a unique and highly actionable way to bring talent and technology together with incredible results. Today, we're joined by Echo Select's CEO and founder, Jeanette Hernandez Pranger, and President and COO, Darren Pranger, to learn more about their company's affordable and effective approach to world-class recruiting and consulting. Welcome to you both. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us, Kathy. And Jeanette, could you walk us through what you do at Echo Select? Well, we have a very simple business model. I mean, basically, we broker people. Mm -hmm. But we deliver that talent via two avenues, either staffing or professional services. Typically, it's temporary, but that temporary, that amount of time, sometimes it's very short term and sometimes it's multi-year. In fact, for our government clients, they're multi-year and continue with growing scope. So the temporary side is very mm -hmm. interesting. Those IT experts sometimes are just needed very short term. Sometimes they're needed for longer engagements and as the client gets to know them, they'll even offer them permanent employment. Wow. With our professional services side, a small project can grow to big ones, or we can get into projects that we think will be long term. Mm -hmm. And we find that solutions that actually can short time, shortcut the timeline to get it to implementation. Great. Darren, you spend a lot of time working with the ECHO team. Can you tell us a bit about your talent pool and how they elevate ECHO's core services? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think the, the first term that comes to mind is competency. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll start with our, 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 what we call our field personnel. That's our consultant base. Okay. So this is uh, roughly about 450 associates that are providing technology services directly to our customers. These are individuals with a proven track record. So they know how to do their jobs, they hit the ground running. And just to speak to their credentials, uh, this roster collectively has over 500 professional certifications within their domains of expertise. So again, just speaking to their pedigrees and, and their, their expertise. I'll also talk about our talent acquisition team. Um, this is a team that uh, are really the best of the best in the industry. They have over 200 years of experience doing the, the, uh, in that particular field, and they've all contributed collectively 10,000 placements over the course of their career. So pretty impressive and, and definitely you know, people that elevate our services. I mean, my goodness, Darren, 10,000 placements kind of speaks for itself. Are there certain businesses that really stand to benefit most from Echo Select's unique approach and the knowledge and expertise of your staff? Well, I would answer that by saying I think all businesses can benefit from our approach. Um, I would say that there's two specific situations that we best fit with our customers. One is, I'll call it a, a strategic scenario where there's a complex problem, uh, the, the, the customer's in uncharted territory in terms of situations that's either caused by growth or regulatory um, uh, initiatives. And we can come in and be a, a strategic partner and really help them diagnose the problem that's at hand, help them build a plan, and then implement a solution to address uh, whatever those challenges are and, and help them meet their business objectives. The other scenario would be as a what I call an execution partner, where maybe they already have a roadmap of what they want to accomplish, they already understand what their problems are, but they need resources, they need them quickly, and they need uh, that team built so they can go execute and meet those business objectives. You know, what I think is really different about Echo Select is the willingness that they bring to the table to learn about our business, about our specific needs, the complexities of our agency, and how that impacts the type of talent we need. Um, we've seen them continue to evolve that and just learn over time. And that means a lot when we're facing an ever-changing world and the needs of our clients are different. Knowing that Echo Select is right there, willing to put in the time, willing to build a relationship, um, to make sure that the talent that they bring to the table and how they help us get work done is it's just it's just part of the business with them. It's really nice to have that level of engagement from a, a partner like that. Echo Select is very special. 
we really truly care about our customers and our consultants. We also cater and are an extension of their recruiting arm and our recruiting team is best in class. Our average tenure of our recruiters is about 15 years and we recruit from um, IT to administrative roles as well. Um, not to mention we also um, work on the federal side and commercial side, so we're really, we have a really well-rounded background to service any and all customers. So the talent behind the technology at Echo Select incorporates our viewpoint of focusing on individuals first um, and hiring subject matter experts and aligning them with the customer and their needs in order to meet their uh, delivery and technology requirements. We, we try to focus on people that are driven, that have a, a really hard work ethic, and people that are innovative and willing to solve problems uh, for our customers. The people that we work with are really hardworking individuals uh, that are all really passionate about taking care of our consultants out in the field, but also taking care of our clients. Jeanette Pringer started this company 25 years ago, and her work ethic, her tenacity, her resiliency have all stemmed throughout the organization, and I think that really helps set the tone and the culture for our team. Right, and Jeanette, so how did you come up with the idea for Echo Select and grow that concept into this impressive company we see today? Well, I wish I could take credit for the idea of starting Echo Select. Unfortunately, I'm not that imaginative, but I do understand that in order to get things done, you hire really smart people. And one of my hires when I worked at a telecommunications company back in the early 90s was a gentleman I had gone to university with. And he was the one that came to me because we were implementing new technologies for something that was brand new to the industry, and that was the internet. So we were creating the first ever intranet within a company with multiple enterprises. And he asked me, why are you not doing this? And that was basically being able to find people with the technical skills mm -hmm. to figure it out and implement the solutions. And what I was able to do as a manager was to find really good people mm -hmm. and to weed out those who just knew how to talk the talk but not actually do the work. So when I first started the business, I started with him and another college uh, acquaintance. We mm -hmm. incorporated and within a month, they both decided that they were really not ready to step into an entrepreneurial role. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and did a business plan and went back to a former client and told him what I was wanting to do. And that was to be able to find people to modernize systems because at that time, Y2K was uh, just in the horizon and there were a lot of systems that really needed to be modernized. He asked me if I could come back as my first consultant to modernize an old batch inventory system. So these are key punch cards that were fed into a system to make them real time online transactions. And that I was my first billable to modernize an old system. Fast forward, we are still doing the same thing. We're modernizing legacy systems and we're doing it by finding really good people. So again, when I started, this is back in the mid 90s, mm -hmm. there were no monster internets to source people. It was a word of mouth, right. going knocking on doors and making sure I cultivated relationships with people with really good, not just the technical talent, but the type of character that I wanted to represent to put in front of customers, knowing that they would be able to meet or exceed the expectations. Well, uh, Jeanette and Darren, what does the future hold for Echo Select? My mother started the company with uh, the end goal in mind to grow, and so yeah. we, we definitely anticipate that to be part of the future, and, and that's really what we aspire to. I think that comes in a lot of different forms, specifically from a strategy perspective. We're in 42 states right now. I think there's a great opportunity for us to create greater uh, concentrated presence, presence in some of those markets. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in Kansas City, St. Louis, and Washington, D.C. right now. Uh, definitely diversification of our services. You know, some of these emerging technologies with artificial intelligence, machine learning, security engineering, those are all opportunities for us to create greater depth and provide that as a, as a, as a boutique service to our customers. Jeanette talked about the government space. The government in recent years has been very um, enthusiastic about bringing commercial solutions into mm -hmm. the government space to really take advantage of that innovation. And so we think we're well positioned to do that as well. Uh, I think at the end of the day though, and Jeanette hit upon this, is 
We want to grow the organization so that our employee base can grow with it. Um, and that's been a really rewarding thing for us, is for them to see them grow their careers as a result of the organization being able to flourish as well. So. Oh, well, that's incredible. And thank you for all of your wonderful philanthropic work that blesses so many. And thank you both for joining us today. Thank well, you, thank Kathy. Thank you. It's a real thank honor. You. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.